safe. All my life, I never would have imagined that I would be standing here in this dress. Thank you for asking to cut in line at the bar because little did I know, you were put there to change my life forever. I am lucky enough to say that my best friend is now going to be my husband. Every day when I wake up, I thank God for giving me you. You are the only one who can make me come out of my shell to experience a whole world where the sky is a limit. You inspire me to be a better person, even when I am stubborn and naturally have an attitude. That is how I know we are perfect together. You are everything I am not, especially when it comes to having patience. As your wife, I promise to continue showing my love for you through the good and bad days that are yet to come. I know my Father in Heaven would be very proud to know that I finally found my other half. Tina, you came into my life at just the right time when I wasn't looking. Yet the first night, we had a connection like I had never experienced. On our almost four year journey, we have certainly had a few lows, but those have been few and far between, as I believe we have a great understanding and respect for each other, which has helped us prevail. You believe in me wholeheartedly and have supported me through everything selflessly. I now have a greater sense of time, organization, have been taught how to drive like a NASCAR driver, all to which I'm grateful for. I love you and look forward to many years we have ahead of us. I promise to take care of you and cherish you forever. That's it. Love you, Ed. Love you too. David and Tina, you've come before us and before God, and you have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands and have made a promise of faith and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> You know the best man speech is known for throwing out some of the most embarrassing aspects of a groom's past, funny stories, middle school which I wasn't there for, or bringing up bad haircuts or stories of such, but that's not really my style. Instead, I'd rather make it clear to everyone just why Tina has decided to marry Dave. First off, he's got really good taste. He did choose me after all to be his best man, so. Secondly. He does love, and when he loves, lo Dave loves really hard. There's nothing he wouldn't do for me. And in fact, I don't really recall anything that he has done for me, so at least that kind of sets you up for the future. <laughs> when I first met Dave, I remember looking at Tina <laughs> and said, I want him. But... <laughs> She said, go get your own, he's mine. And let me tell you what, she was packing that day and I still took the risk. Uh -huh. 